This is my new DJI Phantom 2 uh, setup. My last Phantom um, had a mechanical malfunction at about 700 metres altitude with moisture getting into it and uh, crashed somewhere. I have not been able to retrieve it. Uh, so I purchased this one from Flying Hobby in Hong Kong and uh, it arrived just the other day. As you can see I've got the colour tip blades which I also bought from Flying Hobby, the DJI factory blades just to add a bit of colour to the machine, make it a little bit more interesting. This has also got the IOSD 600 um, milliwatt uh, immersion transmitter and uh, GoPro Hero 3 of course and uh, Zenmuse gimbal. But this time what I did, because I had a spare transmitter from the old Phantom, uh, I upgraded the, uh, upgraded the transmitter this time. And this is what we have now. This is... Uh, the stock standard um, Phantom transmitter, but uh, with a quite a large TP-Link uh, uh, extended aerial on it, which has been uh, fitted. I watched a couple of videos on YouTube here and uh, saw uh, a couple of guys putting these big aerials on. This is a 8 dBi gain aerial, um, and the results are just absolutely fantastic. I uh, took it for a test fly this morning after binding this um, this transmitter here uh, to the Phantom and um, at uh, over a kilometre, uh, full control, full FPV, um, just loving it, really, really good. Uh, for those of you who uh, want to um, do something similar, this is the transmitter, uh, sorry, the aerial that I bought off um, Amazon, it was about uh, 7 or $8 dollars. US um, and uh, uh, plus the uh, the connection of course the little wire connection and, and new mounting uh, fitting that goes inside the transmitter so uh, a nice easy tidy job uh, of course because the antenna is not attached all the time you've got to really take a lot of precautions to make sure that you don't fry it by accidentally powering on uh, without the trans uh, the antenna attached so I've done put this label on it and uh, I've also um, removed one battery uh, out of the, the back of it so that um, it can't accidentally be powered on and cook the transmitter, as you know it will. Um, so hopefully that, um, that doesn't become a problem. But even if it does eventually uh, accidentally fry it, I've got a spare transmitter here which I can easily uh, uh, do the same mod to. I do have a... Um, 5.8 gigahertz uh, signal amplifier booster on its way which I'll attach to the back of uh, this transmitter. This is like my uh, Frankenstein transmitter. Uh, this will be the one that I make all the mods to and the, I'll keep this as the stock standard uh, TX. Um, you know just uh, just keep it uh, at factory so you know if something goes wrong with the Frankenstein then I can um, I can revert back to the other one and just bind that very very easily to the to the uh, Phantom. Uh, this is my um, case, it's a Pelican hard case. Uh, I've got uh, three flight batteries. Uh, there's the one on the back of the, the Phantom now and uh, these two these two spears uh, I uh, which are, are fully charged there, um, and I managed to get everything else into the case. I've got my um, Fat Shark, uh, Fat Shark goggles, Predator Two goggles over here, uh, which uh, fantastic. I've got some um, uh, my the Phantom that got lost had a cloverleaf uh, immersion cloverleaf like that uh, one you can see there. Uh, that had those on the goggles, uh, so I've got another set of those coming, and I'll um, I'll put a uh, cloverleaf onto the goggles just to pair them up, and hopefully get even better reception. But honestly, at a at over a kilometre, um, with an altitude of about 150 metres, um, the uh, picture quality was just astounding. It was really really good. So very very happy with that uh, latest modification, and uh, really loving this new setup. Uh, love flying it and uh, it's it's just great you know really good fun and, and gives you a bird's eye view of of your environment um, just yeah good fun so uh, take care everyone I'll, uh, I'll make another video uh, once I've got that transmitter booster on there and uh, we'll see what the what difference it makes but honestly 
I really don't, uh, you know, at a kilometre uh, distance, kilometre uh, range, I'm happy with that. I'm never, you know, I'm not, I'm not doing this just to, to fl- see how far away I can fly my Phantom. Uh, it's just a wee challenge, I guess. So, you know, I'm really happy with way, the way it is, but I've got the booster coming, so I might as well use it. Um, take care for now. We'll be in touch again soon.